What's up guys, my name is Matt, you probably know me as Pass the Pie, and we are going to be doing a let's play of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier for my series, as you can see right there. This will be a mostly blind playthrough, I've done the first mission or two just to, just to see what the game was like, um, I did a couple months ago, actually when the game first came out, so it's been a while, you're going to get to go through the game with me, learn about it. Um, do some cool stuff. We're playing on veteran, not quite elite. It's uh, it's the middle middle difficulty. I didn't want to make it the easy one, but the hard one you don't want to see me fail too much. It doesn't make for good viewing, and uh, that's that's pretty much pretty much it. I, I'm a big fan of Graw games. Graw is typically a Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare or Advanced Warfighter. Um, if you're familiar with some of the older ones, I played. Uh, Graw 2 on the PC. I, I wasn't a big fan of it on PC, but I did play it on Xbox and I really enjoyed it. I don't know what the real difference was, to be totally honest with you, but this game seems seems pretty awesome so far with what I've played. Move my mouse out of the way so it's not all up in your business trying to watch the video. And pretty much the way I want to do this is either separate each individual mission into an episode or, you know, important sections of the mission into different episodes. And I don't want to make them too long, too short, you know, I want you to get a good experience for the game, get to see what it's like to, you know, play this kind of stealth game. I'm going to try to play it as quote-unquote stealthy as possible, try to really stick to the basis of, of being a ghost, you know, that whole ghost recon concept instead of coming in, you know, guns blazing like like a dick. Um, can I skip this? Nope. No skips. Ah, there we go, skipsies. Aha, uh -huh. you don't need to see that. So basically, let's look at these challenges. Uh, I'll, we're going to try and do at least one challenge every time. So, kill it with a single burst from an LMG. Okay, that might be doable. Uh, during, I think I did that one. Excellent. Hey, don't leave any with, okay, I should be able to do that one. No problem. And that one's going to be difficult. I'm not, not totally confident with that one. But uh, I think we can do this. What do we get? Underbarrel shotgun, hell yeah! Okay, and I've already done some of these, so uh, when, I, when I did my playthrough, I haven't done anything on elite difficulty. Okay, five or more enemies with a single burst from an LMG. I think we can do that. Um, this is some stuff I've done before. Okay. Uh, okay. Next, let's let's see what we got. Um, let's not do a PDR. Let's do customized gear. Let's take an LMG. Um, I gotta, gotta do it this way. All right, let's not take an LMG. Let's let's take uh, let's take this. Let's select it. Let's break some. Uh, I kind of like the majority of what, what we got in terms of optics here. Uh, select iron sights. Can we put a? Wait, 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 wait. I know I'm doing. I know I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Let's do a red dot on it. Okay. Um, paint. We don't. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what do we got here? That one looks fun. Let's do that. It, it doesn't affect the game at all. Trigger. What can we do? Um, three round burst. No, let's make it a. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's the one we'll do. Okay, magazine, I don't think we have many options. Do I get a do I get the barrel the drum mag? Not for this one. Okay, I'll go standard mag. Under barrel, I don't know if I have many options there. Foregrip, rail cover. Let's go with that one. I like maneuverability. Leave the gas system as it is. Side rail. Um let's just take the regular old rail cover. And a muzzle compensator. I'd like a suppressor, thank you. Stock, can we get uh, uh I don't have that yet, do I? Damn it, we'll go with an extended stock. Alright, back. And back. Sidearm. Uh what can we do? What other sidearms do we have? Car, I don't think I have any options. Ooh! How the fuck do I get that? Alright. Do this one. Let's, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, we don't want optics. Paint. Let's make it match, I guess. Hell yeah. Okay. Select the trigger. This one's a semi-auto. 
if you guys don't want to see this, uh, put it in the comments because, like I said, I want to make this as entertaining as possible. So if you don't want to see me go through and pick my gear, then uh, then let me know, and I'll I'll leave that part that part out because uh, well, I mean, I want you guys to be entertained. So it's uh it's totally up to you. This one will have nothing. Okay, I'll leave anything else. Uh, optics, no, get back. Okay. All right, we're done with the gunsmith. Let's do this. All right, so let's uh, let's do this. I think there's some really cool stuff that you learn in this mission. Uh, the sound is going to be turned down a lot so that you can, you know, hear me talk and whatnot. Because hopefully, I'll be pretty entertaining with the gameplay in the background to get to see my horrific aim because I have very very bad aim on the PC. It's uh, one of my probably worst skills overall. But, um, you know, you'll, uh, you'll get to see it, I guess. And uh, I didn't bring an LMG for this one, so I don't worry about that challenge. But we do need headshots in the diamond formation. And uh, this is really cool. Check this out. I'm just going to be quiet, so it's all kind of ghost-like. Dude's on the phone, and then not so much. Uh, I probably should have left that. Uh, I, damn it, I gave it away. But, uh, bink! <laughs> So this is the newest version of Ghost Recon, and I think they do some really cool things. They kind of give you like a straight up heads up display, see the thing around the gun. It's based on this concept of augmented reality, which I know they're doing a lot with smartphones. You try and get some, some things to show up on different like QR codes and things like that, but this is a, a really cool usage if they can ever get it to work. You know, it's kind of like displayed on the glasses and I don't know. I think it's really cool. I, I hope that you know the Google glasses do something really cool like this in the future. And uh, if this is, you know, a, a possibility in terms of something that the military can create, I can't wait to see what the civilian version is. You know, just in terms of just making uh, augmented reality. And uh, I don't remember most of the controls. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Move to cover. Space. All right. Hold our fire. Let's toss a sensor up in this bis. Now this is a really cool thing. So basically it's going to mark all the enemies, right? So we're going to... It gives us that option. That's not the one we're going to do. We're going to... They're behind. So we're going to... Oh, what's the button? So what's cool is that you can see them regardless of what cover they're staying behind. So I just totally shot them clear through cover. And uh, I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and move up. You can't pick up your sensors once you've tossed them, which is uh, kind of annoying, but whatever. It's just the way it is. Hold E, we'll resupply. So now we have uh, all of our sensors again. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do something pretty similar. So we're going to toss our sensor. And this is mostly just an effort in teaching you how to use different things. So, you know, I toss that sensor, I get to see permanently where all of the enemies are. You see that if they're in yellow, they haven't detected you yet. In red, they know where you are. And uh, the, the blue one right now is, um, is our target that we need to be aware of. So what we're going to do is pop this guy. Uh, this guy's still alive, so we'll pop him. I think I was supposed to take him out, to be honest with you. But that's what happens when you, uh, you turn the sound down so that you guys can hear me, no problem. Through the wall. So they, they try to give you like uh, an idea of realism in terms of you know being able to shoot through cover and whatnot. And I think that's really cool. Um, I, I enjoy it. I like the, the whole concept of it. Uh, I think it... Uh, I think it makes for a lot of interesting, a lot more interesting gameplay. You know, if somebody's standing behind cover, it doesn't necessarily mean, especially if you know that they're there, like that guy, boom, he's donezo. Alright, all clear. Hell yeah, let's uh, back out of cover here. Okay. So now I, I'm supposed to jump down, but... So we're, we're picking this guy up, he's... 
you know, in a forum and blah, blah, blah. If, if you really want to know, I can start leaving up the intros and, and the, the mission briefing and stuff if you, if you want more interesting information. But I think the gameplay is, uh, is more interesting than, than the story itself. The story is kind of, kind of gives itself some, some credibility, but it's all sensor out there. So much easier to kill people when you know where they are. Your cover is worthless, my friend. You don't know, get shot. Oh god, I'm dead. Pick me up. Ah, oh, phone. Man, unprofessional. Come on, man. Anyway, this dude's gonna pick me up. Because uh, we're bros like that. We're gonna cover. Take him out. Through the wall. You're done. There's one guy running there. I'll take him out since he, uh, he thinks he's safe. Alright. Hell yeah. This dude's got a gun like he thinks he's fucking gonna own the place. <sighs> Useless. About to take him. Show him what's up. So we gotta get 10 headshots when we get to the diamond formation. It's not now, it's it's in the future, but I think that's going to be the, the hardest part, at least in my opinion. Come on, dogs. Is there more people? Oh, shit. Ah, stop it! Let's take cover. Can I shoot him in the foot? That's how we'll do. Can stop shooting? Come on! Get! get. Damn it, everybody left. Ah! That's how we do it. Just blow the fucking truck they standing on. What you know? What you know? How do I stop crouching? There it is. Ah. Okay, I gotta get in this little deal here. And, uh... I don't know. If... If I... How do I word this? I don't know. I, I don't know if I could ever be a soldier. I just don't have the... The ability to be such a boss. How do I go up the fucking... Mm. Why can't I go up? Ha! Hold E to climb, dummy. <laughs> Alright, now... No, 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 no! What are you doing? What are you doing? Go back up, back up. Dumbass. God. Alright, we're all... Now, another beauty of these sensors is that you can see shit through walls, right? So I just toss one of them in there. Oh, man. They're so done. They're so done. Let me get in my little spot here. And do a little slow motion breach. You done? Nobody did get that guy. Okay, so uh, I took out the other three. What were you guys doing? There's only one other guy you had to take out. I mean, come on now. Can I pick that up. Man. Okay, fine. We'll do this thing again. But uh. Yeah, I think this is this is a perfect intro. When I get to the next kind of cutscene, you'll uh, you'll get to see um, what's where, where there's going to be kind of like natural stopping points. This is, uh, this is oh god, good cover. Okay, so what we're going to do? We're going to toss that out there. See where everybody is. Switch to a frag grenade. And uh, oh man, this guy's about to have a very bad time. Oh man, you're about to have a very bad day. That sucks. Through cover. What you know? Okay. I don't need cover. Shh. Covers for wusses. Switch back to our sensors. We're all out of sensors. That's not good. It's no bueno. Oh god. Okay. We're just gonna basically they have this really interesting like move from cover to cover system. There you go. Just totally, totally skip the the problem here, and they ran away, bitches. So these are all civilians. Can't shoot the civilians. Take this guy out. He's done, though. <laughs> Point the right. Shoot directly at your enemy for the most protection. Thanks, Call of Duty. Oh shit! Look at you. Where'd you come from? Oh god! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. Die. I'm gonna... Damn it! That's all I come. Who wants to pick me up? Pick me up, bruh! Hell yeah. So, as you can see, I, uh... I still gotta get used to this. I, like I said, I, I do want to do this in, like, a pure stealthy fashion. But, uh... I don't know, I, I need some... Some practice to, to not go in... You know, all guns blazing, like... Man, this first mission, I always... I, I screwed up, like, the first, like, three times I did this, so... This isn't... 
This isn't totally new that I, I screw this mission up. I, I screw it up every time. It's mostly a rushing thing. Uh, I, I just I rush through it, and uh, that's that's pretty much my my main problem with a lot of things that I rush through. I'm not very patient. I'm a very impatient person, and uh, I don't know there's just nothing I can really do about it. All right, this guy is annoying me. You're done. You're so done. See ya. All right. So now there's resupply and let's uh let's move forward but uh do i get sensors yeah i got sensors do this we're clearing them out man what do you mean what are we doing on, i'm the reason you're alive Effie. okay all right you guys go that way i'm gonna go up the stairs here and uh, hopefully get my flank on uh, I, I went prone. Everyone else is crouched. Whatever. No big. Well, uh, come on now. There we go. Alright. So what are we doing here? I guarantee there's going to be something. Yep. Oh, perfect. I think this is the perfect place to cut episode one. Um, and uh, see you guys soon. My name is Matt. Brian Newman's Best Buy. So, peace.